Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a smudge fan. Unfortunately I thought I had my camera on so you didn't get to see me carve this out of a piece of cedar. So anyways we'll just start. You'll need some glue. This is just not for gorillas. You can, I use the stuff because it seems to be pretty effective doing this. And a little goes the long way of this one. Put the top back on here. Now, you'll need for this particular one, I have three goose feathers. I've already sized them. Kind of match them up roughly for what I want to see. And then we insert them. And insert this one. This one was a little trickier getting in. There we go. There we go. Around this little spot, we're going to use some scrap beaver hide around the top and some leftover moose hide from another project. Or not moose hide, I mean buffalo hide from another project that we did. We're going to use this the same way, the same way that we've done drumsticks. handle the same way. You could have glued you could have glued the handle but this is pretty good by doing it this way. Find roughly the center of the string. Put it on. Wrap it around a few times. That way. Wrap it around a few times this way, bring it to the center, tie a knot, pretty tight one, Keep adjusting this one as we go. So we're going to do a crisscross around to the back. Tie another X down. We're going to turn it over again. Hold the leather tight. And then back to the back. front roughly the same size put the not roughly the same area you can adjust your feathers before the glue dries Again, just before you complete, I 
It got windy here, so I did my feathers first. I probably would have done my handle first if the wind hadn't have picked up. But I didn't feel like chasing the feathers, so I am doing the handle first. And just quickly glued the feathers in so they wouldn't blow away. Okay, and at this point you only have a little bit left. So here's where you finish it off. A bunch of times that way. A bunch of times this way, turn it around. And this is artificial sinew, so again, you would, to permanently bond it, you would melt it, tie it tight, double knot, even triple knot, artificial sinew, or it might let go on you. melt that down later. At this point you can fix your feathers. Want this feather on top. And adjust your feathers in the holes. Put a beaver fur for around here. A little thin here, so I'll just cut that off. point we'll just straighten it out. I didn't kill this beaver. It was a old beaver skin jacket or vest. I get them from the thrift store. And I this is where your glue comes in again. This is where your scrap sinew just to hold it till it dries. Um, you can sew it on, but I'm showing you guys quickly. Normally I would sew the sew the leather, but Until it dries, you take your scrap sinew and you just wrap around. This is just till it dries, then it can come off. You won't need your glue anymore. need your glue, you won't need your leather, you won't need sinew anymore. Now to make this more decorative, you add your fringe. Some people cut their fringe before. I always cut after. I'm a rule breaker I guess. I guess it would be easier in some cases. I'm just used to doing it this way. I guess with fringes there's really no right or wrong time. Or 
probably the wrong way to do it. Especially if you're making it for yourself. Making it from yourself, it's coming from the heart. Dance fans are done very similar. You just use a bigger piece of mounting material. Some people use bone, some people use wood. I like to use wood because I like to shape my fans the way I want the fans. Let this dry and you take this off. That'll give you a fur on top. You'll melt this, let everything dry, then you have your fan. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share. And talk to you next time.